Praise the Lord, Heart Hallelujah. Fam. Hallelujah. Once again, we, we, we come and we get to be in the very Amen. presence of God. Amen. Amen. You know, this week has, you know, this, this, this week has just really blessed my soul. We've been talking about a forward mindset. And in this day and age, it is imperative that we develop and keep a forward mindset. Yes. Amen. Let's yes. go to the throne. Heavenly Father, Lord, Hallelujah. I thank you for your word. I thank you thank for you, the Jesus. opportunity to love you, to know you, to serve you. Lord, have your way. Yes. We glorify God in all things. In Jesus' in name Jesus we pray. Name. Amen. Amen. To have a forward mindset. Amen. Amen. It is imperative, as I said, that we develop that forward mindset, you know, which comes from 2 Corinthians 9, um, 1 and 2. And it says, therefore, you know, it, you know it, it, it is to just help us, if you will. Come on. If you will, to have this forward mindset. Amen. Amen. So that we might function and flow the way the, the way the Lord would have us to function and flow. Amen. And so today, the scripture for today would be, come from us, from Genesis 26, verses 1 and 2. And there was a famine in the land, besides Amen. the first that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went unto Abimelech, the king of the Philistines, unto Deir. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, Go not down and dwell in the land. Don't go not down into Egypt and dwell in the land which I shall show thee of. Amen. Amen. He said, go not down to Egypt. Right? Now, I think this is very powerful and profound because he's saying, we know that Egypt is, is, is symbolic of the world. That's right. We know that Egypt is symbolic of, of, of bondage. And guess what? The world puts us in bondage. Right? But then in Matthew 2 and 15, he said, I call my son out of Egypt, right? Talking about Jesus Christ after after he was born in Bethlehem and he went down to Egypt and he called him up out of Egypt. God is still calling his sons and daughters out of Egypt Amen. today. It is imperative Amen. that we come out of the world. It's imperative that we get out of the influence of the world and not let the world, if you will, capture our mind. That's but right. he's calling us to have a forward mindset, which is to have a mindset of prosperity. Right. And a mindset of prosperity has more than just your money in mind. Come it on. has every aspect of your life. Yeah. You know, a, a forward mindset is, is connected um, to our concept uh, of how we live, of of our prosperity, of our lack, of all the things that, that concern us in life. Your forward mindset it's connected to all those things because how you think and how you see yourself, you know, is your perception of who you are. But, you know, God sees us in a totally different light than we see ourselves. God uh -oh. sees the good in us. God sees what we can be, not what we are, but what we can be. God sees our potential. Hallelujah. God sees what uh, the possibilities, you know, that that we could obtain potential. if we would just, yeah, the potential, if we would just line up with what the word of God says. Amen. Um, I know a young man that had a t-shirt made that says, I'm possible. Hmm? You know what? Because with, with God, all things are possible. You are possible to become and do all that God has called you to do. And so that forward mindset, it is a key. It is so much of a key to pushing us in the right direction. You know, if you just take that word, I am possible, or that Come phrase, on. I am possible, if you squeeze it together, it becomes impossible. impossible. That's but right. God wants you to understand that the impossible is possible in him. God wants you to understand that yes. if we trust and believe, if we allow him to, you know, con you know, transform our mind, Come if we on. allow him to take us to a place in him, that we'll never have to look back. Amen. That's right. See, we must understand that we can't be caught up with the economy of today or the, the world surroundings, because when we look at Genesis 26 and 12, it says, Isaac sold in the land Amen. and received in oh, the same year a hundredfold, and the Lord blessed that's him. That's right. Right? Yes. The Lord blessed him. He sold in a time when, 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 when it didn't make sense to sow. That's right. But he had a forward mindset. mindset. He trusted God. He believed God for greater. That's right. Well, he was looking beyond today. And, you know, sometimes we don't look beyond right this moment, this second, right where we are what we're feeling, what we're doing. And we have to learn how to look beyond that. We have to learn how to just look a little farther to see the possibilities of where God could take you. And you stand on that in faith. 
and believe, you know, God can do all things, but it's about having a forward mindset and positioning ourselves to be blessed. Amen. Amen. And so not only that, let's just drop down one verse Amen. from 12 to 13. And it says, and the man waxed great and went forward Come on. and grew until he became very great. That's what God wants for us. Amen. He wants for us, if you will, to be uh, not only just great, but very, very great, great in him. To have a forward Amen. mindset, Amen. if you will. And like I said, it, it transcends. It, it rises above your finances. Come but on. guess what? God wants you to walk in that dimension yes, even in your does. finances. God wants you to be blessed, if you will. He wants to elevate your, your living through your giving. But you know, I remember an old movie called The Sons of Katie Elder. Elder. And 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 the, her sons were a bunch of rascals, right? It's an old Come John on. Wayne movie, right? But but everyone that spoke about Katie, who 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 had, you know, her husband had lost the ranch and what have you, but everyone that spoke about her, if you will, uh, spoke with great honor. I mean, she had waxed great, very great. God Amen. wants you, no matter where you are in life, for you to be great in magnifying Him and giving Him the glory and giving Him the praise. We need to give God some glory. Yes, we, we need to be the sons of God Come because on, He's Satan. calling His sons if you will, out of Egypt, right? Yes. And he's not just calling us just out of Egypt to wander around in the wilderness, but for us to enter into the blessing, to enter into come the on. favor, enter into the joy of the Lord. Come on. Amen. Amen. And so this is the season that God is calling us into, yes, it is. right? God is saying that we must have a forward mindset, a mindset of prosperity, a mindset of blessing, a mindset that says that God's hand is on my life. Come on. And I choose to be obedient, yes. that I look yes. at the things that God asks me to do, and I look at it and say, I get to do these things. That's right. I'm Some, excited about I'm it. I'm excited <laughs> about it. Sometimes, look, sometimes you, you, you get tired or you get, you know, wore out a little bit, but you know what? We get weary. Um, what? You get weary not in the work. Come on. Don't ever get weary in the work. work. Sometimes you might be weary in the journey, but you know, get you a little sleep, wake up, wash your face. Keep and, and keep on going. <laughs> God favors us. Yes, he does. And when we get in his word and let his word get in us, it transforms us. It lifts us up. Amen. And so you know what? Have a blessed day. And we will see you guys on next time. Yeah, next time. <laughs> Be blessed. And enjoy. <laughs>